For the second year in a row, the Hoosiers are heading into the NCAA tournament with two pieces of hardware, the Big Ten regular season title and the Big Ten tournament title. It was a busy weekend for the Hoosiers as the team clinched their 14th Big Ten tournament title following a hard-fought battle against Michigan. After a scoreless 110 minutes of play, the, Hoosier, the tournament championship match came down to penalty kicks, something that both teams have had experience with in the past few years. The Hoosiers came out with a 4-3 advantage thanks to a couple of diving saves from Roman Celitano and the game-winning PK from the team's leading scorer, Josh Penn. With their 10th Big Ten double in program history, the team earned a number five overall seed in the NCAA tournament, which gave them a bye in the first round. After Kentucky beat Loyola Chicago on Thursday, the Hoosiers will get another swing at the Wildcats in the second round of the tournament on Sunday. When the teams last met up in the beginning of October, the ranked opponents ended with a 0-0 draw in double overtime. But last season, the Wildcats beat IU 3-0 and handed the Hoosiers their biggest loss of the season. The Wildcats are making their 10th NCAA tournament appearance thanks to their 12-4-3 overall record. Last season, the Wildcats hosted three straight NCAA tournament matches before falling to Maryland in the Elite Eight. Earning a five seed gives IU a home field advantage for, the, for at least two of the tournament games, with the first one kicking off this Sunday against Kentucky at noon right here at Bill Armstrong Stadium. Maxwell, back to you.